स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ क्लोथ्स विच वी वेयर एट होम दिस इज सेपरेट यूनिफॉर्म फॉर स्कूल देन देर आर डिफरेंट क्लोथ्स फॉर प्लेइंग फॉर पार्टी क्लोथ्स फॉर स्लीपिंग इन टू पुट इट इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी हैव डिफरेंट क्लोथ्स फॉर डिफरेंट ओकेजन्स टूडे वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इज how season wise clothes our clothing differ so in summer season we wear different clothes in winter season we different we wear different clothes and how these clothes help us or how these clothes protect us in different seasons at different places so let us start so the topic that we are going to start today is a new lesson the lesson's name is the right clothes to wear this is chapter number 4 in the textbook and what we are going to study today is introductory section of the lesson and also why we need clothes why do we need clothes so these will be the two topics of discussion for today so let us begin so this is part 1 of the lesson long ago when humans lived in caves they used animal skin leaves and bark of trees to cover themselves in those days we were unaware of the clothing and weaving and whatever modern clothes that we wear today that was not known until that time we used simple clothing like animal skin then leaves also we used bark to cover ourselves then gradually the art of weaving and stitching the clothes began these days we wear different type of clothes so there is lot of difference in the clothing from earlier days until now friends we need clothes all the time clothes for home clothes for school clothes for playing clothes for party and clothes for sleeping in also clothes are as important to us as a house like house protects us from all kind of seasons even clothing even clothing protects us from different sort of seasons good clothes make us look smart they protect us from dust heat cold rain and insect bites what will happen if we wear the same dress for many hours your guess is as good as mine they will become dirty because dust settles on it thus if we don't wear clothes that same dust will settle on our body and we would become dirty so what can we conclude from this the clothes protect us from dirt and dust to kapde kya karte hain कपड़े हमें गंदगी से बचाते हैं जो धूल मिट्टी होती है वो जब हमारे शरीर पे गिर जाती हैं ठीक है तो हम गंदे हो जाते हैं सो क्लोज प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम दिस डर्ट एंड डस्ट देन पीपल हु वर्क इन सन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बिकम स्टैंड यू माइट हैव ऑब्जर्व दिस वेन वर्कर्स or uh, the people who work on daily wages under the sun their bodies are tanned the covered part of our body is usually fairer than the uncovered parts this shows that clothes protect us from the heat of the sun then during winters we wear we like to wear thick and warm clothes like sweaters like jackets because they protect us from cold from this picture also you can see this boy is wearing this warm clothes because they protect us from cold then when we go out in rain we wear raincoats like nowadays 
rainy season is going on so we wear rain coats to save ourselves from the rain from getting wet and how does rain coat save us from rain they are made up of this waterproof material which doesn't allow water to enter inside and wet ourselves a rain coat protects us from rain then during night time we wear long sleeved clothes why because they protect ourselves from mosquito bites when we are sleeping we are unaware of the mosquito bites they might bite us we might get ill because of them so these long sleeved clothes long sleeved clothes protect us from mosquito bites thus clothes protect us from insect bites also now material for clothes there are two kind of materials that we use for clothing one is natural one and another one is synthetic material now natural fibers or natural clothes are made from part of plants or animals we get fibers like cotton jute linen from plants whereas fibers like wool silk fur we get it from animals so different kind of fibers we get from different kind of sources it might be plant or it might be animal also then synthetic fibers synthetic fibers like nylon rayon and polyester are not found in nature they are prepared artificially and are called man made fabrics these are man made fab fabrics we don't found it in we don't find it in nature These fabrics are stretchable, waterproof, and wrinkle-free. They dry very quickly, and they are non-porous. So, synthetic fibers are very useful. But in certain occasions or at certain places, these synthetic fibers can be harmful. So, many times when uh, I think we were learning uh, this first aid topic, where we learned that in the kitchen we should avoid wearing synthetic fibers. because it can catch fire very easily so it is better to not to wear synthetic fibers in kitchen but otherwise when when we go outside we can prefer synthetic fibers well that was all for today now it's time for some assignment questions well now it's time for some assignment question the first one is fill in the blanks where there are two fill in the blanks first is dash protects us from dust then second question is during rainy season we wear dash to protect ourselves from rain i repeat during rainy season we wear dash to protect ourselves from rain then question number b is what do we wear when we use to live in caves I repeat the question what did we wear when we used to live in caves then question number c is how do clothes protect us in winters and the last question is what are the type of fibers so these are the four questions that you have to answer i think they are easy we have already discussed this topics today itself so you will find it easy but if you have any doubt you can feel free to ask me so see you in next session until then Take care bye bye